They'll tell you don't take nutrients with medicines, and they'll tell you don't take nutrients when you're, when you're in the hospital, and they'll tell you don't take nutrients when you're having a surgical procedure. My girlfriend had Lasix a couple of years ago. They told her not to take vitamin C and not to take vitamin E with the Lasix. This is what eye doctors tell people because you heal too fast, and you don't want to, they don't want you to heal too fast. Well, I'm telling you that's just boneheaded, nonsensical, ignoramus medical advice, ignorant medical advice. If your doctor told you ever, ever, ever not to take nutrition or in any way, shape, or form, he's an ignoramus of the highest degree. Nutrients are not optional. They're essential. Essential means you better have them or you're in big trouble. And for a healthcare professional to tell a patient who's sick already, who's compromised already, who's undergoing some kind of major stressor like a surgical procedure to not take nutrients is borderline criminal. I'll just give them, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and tell you that they're ignorant. But it really is borderline criminal because these things are, are absolutely vital, not just to the healing process, but to the living process, to the ability of the body, to help the, uh, to provide the body with the ability to do its work. Always use nutrition with medication. My opinion, just my opinion as a, as a pharmacist, somebody who's been studying nutrients, nutrition for 30 years, always take nutrients with your medication. Medicines. Always, always, always. And if you're using some ultimate dramatic poison like chemotherapy or a blood thinner, change the dose on your medicines for crying out loud before you don't take nutritional supplements. If you have to raise the dose on the medicine, which is not a good idea either, do that. But don't avoid vitamin E and don't avoid zinc and don't avoid vitamin C like the eye doctors tell people when they have LASIK surgery. These things are essential and to have any healthcare professional who should know better tell people not to take nutrients is just absolutely ignorant and indeed borderline criminal. And I'm sorry if I got a little harsh on any of your favorite medical professionals, but that's just my opinion. Does that help you, Shola? Yes. Could I run um, the medicine that she's on? Sure. Because Dr. Wallet had um, uh, told me to give her brain and heart. She has um, congestive heart failure. Okay. And she's in the rehab right now. But you want to run her medications by me? I got a couple minutes, Joel, and I got a couple calls I want to get to. So tell me what she's on. Okay. She's on Pepsi, 200 milligram. Okay. Pepsi per. Yeah. Amiodarone, okay. 100 milligram. Okay. Aspirin, aspirin. Okay. And I think another one is Vigil. I'm sorry, say that last one again. I didn't hear it. I think it's B I D L. B I D L. Yes. Vigil. I never heard of beetle. I don't know what that is. But let me go over these other ones real quick. Amiodarone is, a, is for heart arrhythmias to keep the heart in rhythm. Aspirin is a blood thinner. And I forgot what the first one you said. What was the first drug you said? Pepsi. Uh, Pepsi for her belly. All right. The worst one is the amiodarone. They're all nasty, but aspirin is probably the mildest. Here's what you want to do. Amiodarone is a blood thinner. There's Coreg. There's Coreg. Uh, she's on a bunch. She reminds me of these patients that were in the nursing homes. When I used to work in nursing homes and hospitals, they just put them on, they just put them on these laundry lists of medications. Listen, guys, every single medicine you take puts an added burden on the body. Every single drug has to be processed by the body's poison control system. Every single drug you're on means that your body is burning through nutrition in order to process these things. Amiodarone is particularly toxic. They're all nasty, but amiodarone is particularly toxic. Here's what you need to do. Number one, she needs to fix her diet around. That means staying away from anything that spikes blood sugar and insulin and anything that messes up her digestive system. If I was your mom, I would be doing only liquids for a while, keeping my, uh, giving my digestive system a break, especially bone soup and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I'd be staying as far away as I could from fruit juice and bread and pasta and tacos and burritos and rice and and, and pasta, noodles, and uh, anything that messes up her blood sugar. Desserts, of course, that goes without saying. Anything that messes up her blood sugar is going to cause problems with the heart, is going to exacerbate arrhythmias, and all your doctor is going to do is give her more amiodarone, which is an absolutely horrific, nasty drug. Google it. Google Medline and amiodarone. Don't take my word for it. It's awful. Arrhythmias are caused by an electrical conductivity issue. The heart is an electrical system, and the electricity is messed up, usually because of toxicity, 
nutritional deficiencies, nutritional deficiencies as well as uh, immune problems and respiratory problems, oxygenation. Deep breathing, I think I might have told you that before, is also very helpful for her. But be, if you want just a, a couple quick nutritional supplements for the heart that can protect her, make sure she's getting enough B vitamins and vitamin C. And, of course, that's the B, that means the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. The BTT is going to be her best friend. I, I appreciate your call, Shadol. i got to move on. I want to see if I can get a couple more calls in here. Linda in Ohio, what is going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi. Basically, I would think it would be blood poisoning that would be the issue. My cool. son uh, developed uh, blisters on his finger. I thought it was an injury. How did he uh, get He went to the doctor. He doesn't. I don't think it was an injury. He went to the doctor. The doctor said it was probably a hepatitic or a herpetic whitlow. Does he have no. any other symptoms, anything else going on? Fever, That's really... and then he had fever. Then he had a golf ball size, couple areas on his arm, and okay. red streaks going up his, uh, his okay. uh, hand, up his arm, very red. He's on three. You know, we're gonna we're just at ma'am, ma'am, we're out of time and let me just tell you a couple ideas real quick, okay? Blood poisoning, technically they call it sepsis, S E P S I S is is a serious problem, serious medical condition. And the only question we need to ask is what has gotten into the blood? Now, sepsis is a, it occurs like all diseases occur in a gradual form. Uh, and uh, most doctors will tell you by the time you have sepsis you got big problems. But sepsis occurs gradually and he could be not in the final or end stages of sepsis, but in the beginning stages of sepsis. Blood becomes poison. Unless you're injecting something directly in the blood, blood becomes poison through the digestive system. We're just flat out of time. I hope you'll call me tomorrow and we can continue this discussion. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for listening, folks. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Self-reliance, survival supplies, survival skills, national experts. Get it all at the only free-to-attend national event exclusively for preppers. This spring in Tulsa, it's the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, a must-be-there event. Presented by American Living, this massive expo will include special guests. David Mays from Nat Geo's Doomsday Preppers. Plus, GCN Zone Dr. Joel Wallach via live video conference. Here, Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and members of the American Prepper Network. Along with many other leading national experts. Learn life saving tips, CPR, how to handle crisis situations, walk through a bomb shelter, and much, much more. Two big days, April 5th and 6th at the Tulsa Expo Square in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's April 5th and 6th. Doors open at 9 a.m. with absolutely free admission. Don't miss the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, America's largest emergency preparedness event. Get your free tickets now. NPSExpo.com. That's NPSExpo.com. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you. Has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival. Survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866 229 0927. 866 229 0927. Or visit mypatriotsupply.com for emergency preparedness, self reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotsupply.com.